So we're looking at the Rocky Mountain Element 970 RSL BC Edition. This is a, a bit of a departure for Rocky Mountain in that it's a, it's a cross country race bike, but it's a good deal more capable than a normal bike. Who wants to uh, start off talking about it? I actually like wrote down, I think it's potentially the weirdest XC bike ever. Like, but not in a negative sense. I just think because it's got a dropper post and a short stem and it's it's got a talus fork as well, so you've got travel just on there. It, it, it sure makes it fun to try and shred and it's very rad on the trail and it turns extremely well. Mm -hmm. For the type of rider that I am, it's been pretty much the perfect, it's the best bike I've ridden in years. Like I've gotten more good results out of riding people. If we're saying this is an XE slashy kind of trail bike, I think it would really, really improve people's trail experience. And the, and the, and the, and the Talus is, I think, the most outstanding of the several outstanding parts because of, of all the things on a bike that you don't want to have to change, it's the fork. Right. It's I the mean, most expensive one yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I mean, who like who can argue with, with a Fox Talus? You know, I mean, it, it, the I, I could even argue with the reverb, you know, I mean, it, that, that they did one and that they did a good one, awesome. I think it was kind of like the reverse business mullet, you know, the business mullet was like what, business at the front, party in the back. <laughs> For me, this is like party in the front, business in the back. <laughs> it pedals really Especially if you put the big man car. Yeah, if you put a big man like, bar like on that thing, stuff. you know, you put, I found myself boosting just those little rock stuff like in Kessel Run, things like, I, I wouldn't even thought of as boostable, right? They're just little rocks, but. I wanted to catch as much air as I could on this bike because it just made me feel rowdy. And you know, the rear end, on the other hand, I thought it was pretty pro progressive. And I think, you know, like I actually like some of the, the more linear uh, shocks, the, the bikes that felt like they had a little bit more travel in the rear. Um, like, it, but the, the flip side was the fork and the front end are so capable. You know, the rear end does just follow fine, particularly with the bigger wheels. So I mean, I, I didn't feel like I was hampered. And it is incredibly efficient, so it's got that, you know, it handles business in the back. But, um, yeah, it, it's an interesting beast. I mean, I, I'd recommend it as a 10 to anyone who wants a bike that's fast and efficient and when it's massively capable in technical terrain. For that guy, it's, it's a 10 in my book.